Hi and welcome to another Cheeky Girl Creations DIY video. So today I'm going to be making another art journal. Well, not exactly an art journal, more of a sketchbook for my little sister. Because she's into these kind of fashionista sketches and I thought it would be nice for her to have her own little book where she can use watercolour and practice in it. So I just have some canvas and I got this from a scrap of something and I've just used the iron to uh, flatten out just flatten out the fabric and crease where I want to fold so it's the same makeup of, of my last art journal that I made it has a flat over and then when you open it out it opens like this only difference is it doesn't have a pocket and you can see how I made this art journal on my YouTube channel and I'll probably put a link in the description so with this I'm just going to use some sketchbook paper now I'm not sure what the weight is because I didn't really pay attention to the label when I opened it and it's quite old now and I've just teared out two sheets of two A3 sheets and this should make eight pages no one two three four pages four pages so first I just need to cut off these rings so I'm just going to use my ruler and craft knife to put it as close to the edge as possible because I don't want to waste too much of the page so I want to save as much as possible and when you're cutting you have to make sure that you one keep your ruler straight and press down on your ruler while you're cutting otherwise the ruler could slip then your knife would and you can either end up cutting the wrong part or yourself and you don't want that to happen and my ruler it has this groove in the middle which is perfect for me to keep my finger and thumb in so that I don't cut myself and you see how I'm just spreading so I'm pushing at the start at the end and then I'm pushing against the ruler with my knife and then that will mean that I keep nice and straight Now I'm just going to cut this in half and a way to make sure that you're cutting along the crease line is to put your ruler up against the paper then fold it then push your ruler up against the edge make sure your hands don't shift. So now you can see that you got four pages out of two A3 sheets and I'm going to create signature with these. So I'm just putting them inside each other like so. And because I wasn't very exact, you can see that it's kind of coming over the edge, but when I bind this I can solve that even here you can see where it's coming out 
And so now it fits in here quite nicely. And there's a little bit of a gap of the top. And I always like to have a bit of a gap at the top and the bottom. So how I'm going to bind this, I want it to be able to be adjustable. So when she's finished with the signature, I want to be able to take this out and then replace it with another one. So I'm going to bind these together just using some thread and then I would have say a ribbon or twine or yarn, probably twine because it just look nicer How, where she can tie it and tie a bow but then the signature is nice and secure and I did something similar like this for my Laos art journal but this one I want it to be nice and sturdy for her so she can take it out with her wherever she's going so I'll just go get some thread and sew this up right so I got some thread I have some cream thread and I created a template for this signature so the signature is 8 inches and I put a hole three holes every two inches so one here one here one here now to make sure that I put the holes in the right place and the pages stay together I'm just going to use some ball clips to make sure they stay together Right, so now that my signature is all binded, I want to be able to decorate the cover a little bit and most importantly sew very close to the edges to make sure that they don't fray anymore. Because I want to keep the frayed look but I don't want it to fray anymore. Here, using the sewing machine and then I'll be back. Right, so I've sewed around the edge with some of the cream thread I used to bind the signature together. And it's just around the edge so now it won't fray. And I want to decorate the front. So I've picked some fabric.
Right, so after a few tries, I've gotten a diamond template, and I want to have this for the fabric, and it is 8 centimeters by 4.5 centimeters. But of course you can have your template whatever size, it doesn't even have to be a diamond, it could be a circle, heart, whatever. So, before I use that template, I just want to uh, colour some of my fabrics. So I have these sprays that are made out of food colouring and they're not permanent but it'll just be nice to add a bit more colour so this is red I can and I can colour the rest of this since this has already got some splotchy colour so carry on with that Right, so now that I've coloured it, I am just uh, putting it between some paper towels to take off some of the um, water. And then I'm going to go over it with this small iron. And I use this for different art projects. And I just put um, some paper underneath to protect um, my board because it has plastic on it and I'm just going to put some paper over the cloth to protect my iron 